I think the important thing about a film like that is that traditionally, both in cinema, in TV, and in the print media, our experience is defined by non-disabled people through old cultural cliches and old cultural beliefs that want to paint us as heroes and um, objects of pity and all of those different things when we're just people who want to get on with living life on our own. But even when we're doing that, they want to paint us as inspirational characters because they don't have the belief that we can do what we're doing. Therefore, the inspiration is, oh, look at that exception to our negative belief about disability. Um, so for mainstream America to see a film in which disabled people die, define their own life and describe their life um, would be an unusual thing, just like with the movie Murderball. Murderball is these guys showing their life as they live it on their terms. Um, and for the first time, it seems that America's hearing our perspective on our life. I mean, when I hear these guys on Ed, Ed what is it, Larry King Live say, disability is the best thing that ever happened to me. I mean, that's got to blow non-disabled people's minds. They can't imagine. I can't tell you how many disabled people I've interviewed and said, if, if you had the chance to take the magic pill, would you do it? And they go, no. My life now is richer than it used to be. Um, and that's not what mainstream America hears. They hear, oh, the victim of, and the pathetic this, and oh, life is not worth living. And they buy the crap of Million Dollar Baby that you're better dead than disabled. Um, and that's not what we're living. That's not to say that the policies in this country throw 10 million lead weights on living with a disability, but that's not the disability. That's the cultural beliefs about disability that have been put into very repressive and negating laws. So for people in America to have the chance to hear us define our lives on our own terms. And of course, it's good for people in America to realize that when they become disabled, life isn't a dead end. Life will work better for them because disabled people like Ed Roberts and Ron Mace and Judy Human and all the other people are fighting to change the environment, both the political environment, the policy environment, the built environment, um, to say all variations of humans belong in society. We don't have to put anybody away.